During the summer of 2023, we moved to a remote Scottish Hebridean island to be its only two residents along with our two pet sheep and pair of cats. These remote islands seem to retain an old-fashioned rhythm and a charm which we find encouraging us to live a more frugal and simple life, the way man was perhaps more intended to. We have an ancient stone cottage to restore, veggies to grow, livestock to build up, fish to catch and smoke, a boat to buy, and much more. Step back in time with us at the Scottish Isle. So here we have Aldern Antiques. Um, we don't have our microphones on, so the sound's going to be a bit iffy, I guess. Where did you come through the front door? I wondered where you were. To be honest, from what I'm seeing, there's nothing here. Well, I do like this armchair, but unfortunately I can't fit in it. Over here. My shoulders are too broad. Well, I'll fit in it. Who feels that? They're usually American, these tilts. Yeah. Does it, does it say anything on it? Two shillings, sixpence, please. No, I meant like Is maker's it? mark. Um, yeah, I can't read that. Uh, there's not much here, is there? Look at this old building, this old church. I fit in it. It's very upholstered, doesn't it? Yes, I. it's nice, I like it. It's just too, way too small for me. Can't get my shoulders in there. You, you, you don't fit in that. Hey, look at that fire, uh, fire, what's it? Basket. You know what, that would go great in. It's, it's a bit uh, OTT for the cottage. You know, isn't just it? have a look at the price though. How much is it? I should have got my glasses. It's only one ninety. That's not bad price though, you know. Oh, that's what we need. A big stove like that. That's what I'm looking for. Hey, is that a no for the cottage? Of As course. in the bed, in the living room? Of course it's a no. Look Why is it? it? It's like... Mm. Why not? It's a bit... I don't know. We just, well, just cut those bits off. I cut it off. Just grind them off. We need something to heat up the bedroom. Yeah. Because the one that we've got is not big enough. But I want a, I want a stove. I want a, a range, like an old-fashioned one. How many of these have we sold in our time? Oh, God. This is a creepy stool, we call it in Scotland. Um, they were they were made... I think I think you had to... In, in school, you had to make them in as part of joinery right up until the sort of 60s, maybe even the 70s. This isn't a particularly old one. But some of them you get lot. are really, really old. They're, uh, you know, milking stools. There's a lot of them around. Yeah. Oh, you've sold lots of these. Come, come and see this. I love this. What, the mangle? I will, I will. I would love to have one of these. Just for the sake of having one. I'm going to look around the corner. Look here, where are they go? They're massive, aren't they? They are really huge. It must be like a... Like a steam-powered engine, right? Like the sort of Fred Dibner type thing. 
Were yeah. they made? No, they were cast iron, though, weren't they? No, it would. I mean, look at the size of those. Some weight them. Well, they've sold. Someone's bought them. <laughs> Someone's away with them. I like the look of this. Look. This trough. But that's sold as well. So what have you found here, Katie, that you'd love? This. This is what I want. This is like, this is perfect for you, isn't it, this? I would use it. I would, I would use it to cook on, to bake bread. Cooking heat, number one. Five pounds. Excellent. Take, take it. That's, yeah, hang on, hang on. Five pounds. Oh. Oh. There's no price on it. Yeah, it's not for sale, I'm telling you. You'll find him and he'll say to you, it's not for sale. We kind of need one that disassembles, don't we? Disassembles? Um, well, yeah, because could you imagine getting that to the cottage? I mean, it's a lovely thing, but the practicalities... Well, I don't need one that big, but... I, I, would like can, one. I would like one. Are you going to ask him? It always seems to be the way that the things that we want uh, and like are either sold or I mean, there's no price on it's, it. It's, it's, ham it's been hammered into the... The church, obviously. Yeah, I'd like that. But, oh, it's got a piece missing here. We can fix it. Yeah, the way that's been nailed onto there, I'm thinking again, it's not... It's just the problem when you come to some of these places. It's just like everything you want is either sold or not for sale. Is there an echo in here? <laughs> you and your ugly ceramics. I mean, it's only £35. I mean, what is it? The Empire Exhibition, Scotland, uh, 1938. I guess that's a no then, isn't it? I'll put that back then. This is quite an interesting piece. It's a chess table. I mean, it's ugly as sin. I don't like it personally, but I know something of uh, of quality and interest when I see it. It's, um, it's very ugly. It is, but, you know, ugly sells sometimes, doesn't it? But at £350, it's staying here. But that's very strange, isn't it? Very strange piece of furniture. I still like and want this, no matter what Katie says. Right, that's us done here. 
nothing found. On to the next. We just passed this lovely old church. Really unusual steeple on this one. But unfortunately we can't get in because it's all locked up. As you can hear it's right next to the motorway. It's next to the A1 for those of you in the UK. But I just thought I'd come and film it because it's so unusual. The weather vane on the top. What are you pointing at? Stove. Oh, the stove. There's a stove. Knackered though, isn't it? This is the place to be if you want an anchor and a ballistic missile. <laughs> I mean, what's that over there? That's not like something like Steve Austin, the Bionic Man, like fell back to earth in. Weird. We drag that back to the island. It's an interesting place, isn't it? That's what people say of me. What, that you're an interesting place. No. Is a massive anchor. I'm sure that's what they say. <laughs> Sorry, I'm looking at the two lions. It's got a lovely tap on it as well. It's too big for a replace, though, isn't it? It's uh, it's knackered. But this is a reclamation yard, isn't it? I wonder if he's charging 680 quid for that trough. £425, it's only £425. I'm telling you, honestly, we need to go into the carving business. You found some of that on the shore. How much is his chain? Oh, we can get into the chain business. Oh, I didn't even think about this. Okay, well, should we go and actually look at some proper antiques? Okay. You missed out on the cheese scone. I don't you should want... you should have heard it like berating me for having a cheese scone because I ate it with no butter or anything. Who on wants it. a dry cheese scone? It they wasn't dry. It, it was very it. moist. I didn't even offer any butter with it. Well, who's the one that's hungry and who's the one that isn't? I'd rather be hungry than be full of dry cheese scones. It was a lovely cheese scone. What you found? Oh, you in your toilet seats. Sold and sold. Of course, yeah, they are. We, well, we've had some of those ourselves, haven't we? Yeah, we sold a lovely. We uh, sold them restored, to. Restored and sold a, a lovely Victorian. Where did it go to? Hockney Lucy. Hume Priory at uh, Annick mm -hmm. in the Northumbrian National Park. That's who had that toilet seat. It's fascinating, this place. There's so much to look at immediately. Look at this, so cool. How cool is that? The moped? Yeah. I never, I'm, I'm a bit confused. I don't know who you are anymore. I never knew that you would had a thing for mopeds. If you're in the market for one of these, they've got loads of them. What are they? I have no idea. But they've got loads of them. Uh, the mortar bomb cases. Oh, right. So uh, if you need some mortar bomb cases, well, um, what would you repurpose them for? Put a bit of glass in the coffee table. I know table. what you'd repurpose them for. You know, coasters for coffee cups. Yeah? If you had loads of them, you could put them in. You think it's a good idea? <laughs> no, you don't. What, we look, we still on? We need this for the island, we're buying this. <laughs> yeah, we'll just put it at the entrance point. Oh, oh, on that one as well, just to confuse them. 
What is it? It's a it's a ledger for Stafford North Staffordshire Railways, and it's the wages department. From this is dated. Uh, it's huge. June twenty sixth, nineteen nineteen. What were you going to show me? What was I going to show you? Oh yes, this, I've got the perfect kit. Oh, the perfect well. If we can, if we can, if we can find E. Garrick in Hartlepool, we've got an instant sale. <laughs> so we, if we look in a telephone directory, I think when people used to look in a telephone directory, <laughs> look online for E. Garrick in Hartlepool, I'm sure we can sell this to him. I mean, they only want 60 quid for it. It's a nice box, very well made. It's fallen to bits. You're in the restoration business, or you were? Yeah, I was. And I'd buy that for 30 and restore it. And sell it for 60? And sell it for, um, well, I'd sell it to E. Garrick in Hartlepool for £144. <laughs> Wouldn't this uh, be perfect for measuring out your cocaine packets? Sachets. If you do mean bread flour. Bread flour, yeah. He thinks he's in Breaking Bad or something. Do what? I so said, you think you're in Breaking Bad? That's quite nice. You know, I like ashtrays. I don't, I don't, I smoke a pipe. I don't smoke, uh, never smoke cigarettes or cigars. But I do like a nice ashtray. That's quite a nice little. Okay. There's no price on it though. Bad taxidermy. It's hilarious. Uh, five, five hundred quid. Mm. What's the what's that one behind you? Two nine five. Do you think it have its place in the cottage? No, I don't like them. I hate them. It looks like Baphomet ugly, or something like ugly that. Ugly things. There's a lot in here. Um, yeah, there's a lot of crap in there. Okay. Is that you? I can't believe that you just broke that. <laughs> I was here looking at the uh, the two musketeers, wondering where the other ones got to. That's why they'll be cheap. I want to say cheap, I mean 400 quid. What, would you like me to buy you this for your birthday? What is it? Pitiful. I'll only, I'm only going to want it, yeah, if it's £220. It is £220. It's a pair of rainbow oh, trout. Right, look at this, look at this. Look at this. And look at that. <laughs> I mean... I mean... Is it me? Boys, Hello? Boys yes. Brigade? I asked you a question. Is it you? Yeah, I think you should put it in your cabin. That's, it's very you. No, I didn't mean it in that sense. I mean, is it me who thinks that £220 for two manky bits of... What, what, I mean, what is it? Is it taxidermy? Well, they do taxidermy fish, don't they? they, they well, maybe not. They, they take a, a, a mould, don't they? And then they make... These are nice, because look, this is Elvis and Priscilla in Scottish dress. <laughs> and a pit wall, they're not a pair. Yeah, Rockahoola they're called, it's, that's a, the, uh, the, the make. What is, why, what is it with ugly ceramics in you? <laughs> oh, I'm laughing at my own joke. Someone's got to. Oh, this is beautiful. I found a nice little antique shop in Codder. Uh, and you got a teapot for the first time in your life. Yeah, it was, um, it was uh, well, at least that place had decent stuff. Yeah, she, McMuddles, it's called. Very good. And uh, we'll show you what the outside of the shop looks like. We'll put the name on the screen. Um, this is, these are sweet. I like these sort of French enamel kitchenware.
grandfather clock's only a thousand pounds. Would you would you spend a thousand pounds on something that was stored in a place like this? Would you? No, I just don't get it. You're, uh, you're at the end of your tether now. I am. I'm, I am losing the plot now. I've. Uh, I don't like wasting my time. And even though, like you said, we we have to do it. It's. Uh, I'm. I'm. I'm actually quite disgusted by what I've seen, and uh, the prices. That's what the problem is. Because, like, the majority of this is just junk. This is stuff that you would find for like five quid in a junk shop. How, how old do you think that is? It's really hard to date Bibles. It's uh... um. What's? Let's have a look at those. What's the date on them? Well, they tend not to be dated, do they? But is it? It's a three-volume Bible. Well, that's, that's, it's that's... A new, yeah, it's a New Testament. Well, the others underneath. There you go. <laughs> it kind of punctuates exactly what I was just saying. 70 quid for uh, some books with no covers. Okay, look, seriously, Katie, I've got to get out of here before I actually, like... Let's, I think go, I might. Find, let's go home and uh, find something nice to film on the way. Anyway, that sigh. So, uh, part two of the mega bookcase. Well, like like I said, can we just burn it? There's this, and then there's one more, and the the other one is nowhere near, nowhere near as heavy as this. So this is the last big lift. So how are you going to get through it with that kind of mental attitude? All right, I'll film you. Carry, carry on. Can we not put it, just put it on its back this time? You can't put it on its back. How can you put it on its back? You're not going to get it through the gap. Well, I could sit in it and you could just pull it. Yeah, that's basically what you want to do. So no, <clears throat> I have uh, vetoed that decision. And it's going down the same way as the other one. Well, we can take the loose shelves out. I might make it a bit lighter. They can go down in the quad. There, that'll make all the difference. Oh, there's this bit of rope. 
Well, we uh, recorded strapping this up properly. Faffing about. About 10 minutes of chat and work, but you know, the Microphones. camera did its thing. Microphones had other ideas. It's completely un unusable. So uh, we're just gonna take this. But basically what I said was, which is actually quite sturdy, isn't it? And yeah. you were being totally pessimistic about Realistic. it. Realistic. Pessimistic. Don't which I said it. was which I said was my job on this channel and the union are gonna be in touch. <laughs> well, I am going on strike. Okay, well, off you go. I like the fact that you're on the uh, front again. You always put me downhill. Well, why that's, is that? that? Is, I wonder why. That's my foot. Well, we got this over without any dramas, apart from you fell backwards, didn't you? I fell, I fell. But that was on the steps coming up here. But because obviously you've seen this before and you know, all channels get repetitive, but you don't need to see us dragging it down that hill again. But what you haven't seen is us getting it in the cabin. Well, it's not going in the cabin because it's mouldy. It's mouldy, it needs cleaning, it needs waxing up, it needs everything doing to it. And also there's no room in the cabin. That cabin really is just a complete storeroom apart from the fire, the desk and the computer that I make these on. So, uh, A tip for everyone, if you've got mould on furniture or in your bathroom or whatever, don't use bleach. Use white vinegar. Just spray it on and come back after about five minutes and just wipe it off again. Bleach causes, it gets rid of it, but it causes the mould and bleach react together and they give off toxic fumes. And I've been, I've been bleaching mould for years, but Vinegar does it. What about if you use Sarsen's sweet pick of onion vinegar? I think, I mean, the white vinegar smells enough. You don't need pickled onions added to the mix. Nobody it's, wants to go into their be a bathroom and. actually putting that on. That, that needs to go in chips. Yeah, it does. Right, shall we? Uh... Okay. How on earth you did this yourself last time? How did I get it on my, my own? Because, because I'm you're angry. Uh, you might not know this, but I'm quite stubborn. Are you? Yeah. I know it's a, you don't you never noticed that no, before. No, I, I think you're easy oozy breezy. Yeah, my easygoing nature. You've never noticed that. <laughs> whatever, have you? whatever. Well You do you do say whatever a lot, but not exactly that parlance. Whatever. Can you come down here, please? We need to lift this onto this. You just, you just did it yourself. Well, okay. Now, just one thing. Remember that there's plate glass behind you. All right? Okay. And that one at the bottom has already snapped now. Okay. Uh, we, no, no. Uh, Scott's Removal Company, uh, no, no job too big. <laughs> okay, that's it. Oh, did you break my chair? The state of it. Well, it's wrecked because I mean, what we just did to it, it was nothing like that when we got it.
Is that it then? You're going? What's next? What's next? Water tank. Now, today was supposed to be a day off, wasn't it? Yes. But I just went for a wander and I didn't have a camera or anything with me. So, uh, I went over... See where I'm pointing? Over there is absolutely where the best midden is. And we do need to do a bit of like excavating and digging because I think there's going to be a lot of stuff over that, that place. Because I found bits before, and I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, "Oh, yeah, here's Scott with a load of, of old bits of pot again," which which I have. Yeah, just got some wipes to just clean this off a bit. So I just found all this, and it's it's mainly Victorian. Apart from this bit, I mean, this bit may be Victorian. It just has a bit of Art Deco about it to me. But oh, look, there's like a nice little bottle top yeah so you're thinking well big deal we've seen it a million times before yeah not very excited about that are you you haven't even said anything yet have you i'm thoroughly underwhelmed okay let me just get this out of the way well i found this in the same spot <laughs> It, you know, like right under a load of grass, the kid here looking. <laughs> what do you want it for? You alcoholic. She's got a problem, obviously. Yeah, she's a drinking problem, Brie. So, uh, Brie, you need to get a handle on it. It's uh, showing. Now, it's whiskey. It's Bells. It's not particularly old. Um, it well, says, it's not whiskey, is it? No. Liquor, liquor bottle, Perth, Scotland, on the bottom. We'll be able to age it from that. I'm going to assume uh, 70s, something like that. But it's sealed. It can't be. But it's sealed. Does that look like seawater to you? Well, it can't be whiskey. Well, do no. Bells do vodka? Well, maybe he was just using it to... You know what I mean? Like topping it up with vodka. Well, obviously, what I'm doing, the reason I brought you out here is for the unveiling. Is this alcohol or is it seawater? It's disgusting, whatever it is. Okay. It's floating with bits. I'm going to assume it's seawater. But it would be funny if it wasn't. See, that didn't crack, so it has been opened. It just smells peaty. Because it's been buried in earth. So, yeah. There's no... Do you want to try, try a bit? <laughs> Brie? Brie definitely does. Brie, you ready? Brie, what's this? Do you sniff? You can't give a sheep booze. No, nope, not interested. Well, I, I was really hoping that it was going to be alcohol. But unfortunately it isn't. It's just water. And it's rainwater. It's not even seawater. So, basically what's been happening, it's been, it's been seeping in through the top. Can I put it in the bin now? No! What do you want to put it in the bin for? Because that's where it belongs. Why? Do you, I found beer cans of people on this island end up having a bit of a tipple, do you know what I mean? Oh, come on. No, she's not impressed. All right, well, I'm impressed. I hope you're impressed. I just wish it had been alcohol, because that would have been really funny. Spot Katie, anyone? We're back at the water tanks. Because we are finally going to get this one connected today. So what's happening at the moment is we're going to start emptying the second tank. Oh, there she is. Nobody expects. Yeah, Jeeves. Uh, right, so disconnect these two, yeah, and then open the tap, I guess. Actually, I think it's better if you do it the other way around. <laughs> open the tap and then disconnect them. Hey, come on. Not for any reason other than just to be different. This is not budging. 
You got a bit wet then, didn't you? Right, I'm gonna close this. Here, here it's coming. I'm gonna get sprayed. Wow. Well. Okay, so this needs to empty completely. This one's still full. Overflowing. Uh, and then we'll move these two closer together and fit the third one up here. Connect them all up and that's us. Three tanks on the go. It's difficult watching that do that, isn't it? Yeah. It's, it's no good for the concrete, but what, oh. what, what else can we do? Don't care about the concrete at this moment in time. How that tank at the top there has been emptying for what, the last five minutes plus, ten minutes nearly? Oh, it might, is it coming to its end? Yeah, it is. It's only like, it's not even a full foot at the top and it oh. holds all that water. Yeah, it's amazing. It's massive, here. isn't it? It's a very, very windy day. A lady has to keep a hold of her skirt. It's like, it's like, it's been incredibly stormy everywhere in the UK, but I think winter just keeps coming back. It's, it's like, it's like it keeps angrily coming back in the room and going, and one more thing. Yeah, that is true. That is exactly what it's like. It's, you, you think it's gone and then all of a sudden, comes back and shakes its fist at you again. Sheep are, are on the way. So, apart from the weather, that trip to Inverness. Wah, wah, wah. As you could, you could hear via uh, the tone in my voice throughout most of the trip, it was, uh, that was tedious and tiresome. That, I mean, what did it take? Oh, no, let's put, speak about the positives. The trip up there, the landscape's spectacular. We've never done that trick before, trek before, have not we? Not been from, on that road, no. From, I've always done it from the other side of the country, not from this side of the country. So, uh, snow, snow peaked hills. Sorry, I thought the wind was gonna blow the camera over then. Um, just, you know, really beautiful. And the drive was quite straightforward. No issues. It's, it's, um... It's very highlands, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's, it shows you how different this landscape is, this yeah. being the well, Caledonian this is the, rainforest. The, the right? temperate rain, yeah, the rainforest that we live in compared to the other highlands. It's, it but is different. The actual reason for the trip was a washout and quite depressing. Well, well we, were, we were talking about it afterwards as well. We were kind of thinking, is it us that have changed since, you know, since being here? Is it just that... Is it just that part of our life is, is over now? Is that stage is gone and we're on to something else? I mean, I love antiques. I love restoring antiques, but n nothing jumped out at either of us yeah. at all. Well, put it this way. We went to three separate places that we gave up because we just knew we was wasting our time. I didn't find anything that I, I needed because there were things that I actually needed and wanted storage wise the, the one place was nice yeah. though that's what i mean that's what i was getting to the, nice. the 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 one place that we went to where we actually bought things from uh, for ourselves for ourselves was um was great the, the nice place was called mcmuddles she's um we said to her we'd do a shout out because we were chatting to her about the channel so she's in codder um and 
if you're if you're up that ways or if you're on Instagram, check out McMuddles Antiques and Codder because she's got a nice eye. She's got some really nice stuff, didn't she? I'm going to put a screenshot of her card up right now. So. We, we follow her on Instagram, so you'll be able to, if you're yeah. on Instagram with us, then you'll be able to see her quite easily. Um, we're all about helping out. We were exactly in the same situation that she was, a small independent antique seller in the middle of nowhere. And uh, all the help that you can give these people, uh, I'm sure is greatly appreciated. Um, Do you, have you ever played the cat before? Bump, you being a drummer? I played a cat. <laughs> what are you going to do about that, Jeeves? He's going to do that. Nothing. He's not going to do anything. He's not going to do anything. He wasn't threatened in the slightest. He quite uh, likes it. What else? Like bongos. You've got a, a friend coming over. Another one. Yes. Don't mention she's American because they'll just kick off again. <laughs> she's coming over tomorrow. In a couple of days. Yeah. I haven't... Haven't uh, and and she doesn't. Oh, he's got a tick. I think. Ugh, get off. Um, she doesn't watch the channel, so this is all going to be com a complete surprise. What do you mean she doesn't watch the channel? We've got like eight Hang on months. A what do you mean she doesn't watch the channel? Catch up on. You've got somebody coming over here that doesn't even watch the channel. What are you charging her to be it, here? It's not. It's not compulsory. <laughs> What do you mean it's not compulsory? Uh, it's £150 a night, actually. Yeah. So, as long as she's getting charged for it, then. Uh, yeah. Have you got any plans? Are you going to go, go anywhere, do anything? Well, no, we need, to, we need to film for Wednesday's episode, so I'm going to get cracking today on uh, chipping off that blooming stuff from the living room wall that we slapped all over it. And... Uh, oh, the wildlife cam. I need to go and check it. We couldn't end the tank footage. And why was this? Well, I was just going to kind of jury rig the two tanks together with a bit of hose pipe and, and some silicon, and you decided at the last minute that you, you wanted some proper taps, so they arrived yesterday as well. So. well it just, it's because, as I said, the, it was the draining issue. Every, everybody could Google how you have to set up three tanks to have one fill and then drain from all three when you're using the actual water. And the way that we had it set up, that wasn't gonna work. So to make it work in that way, and it was a, last, a very last minute, well, we were there about to do it, weren't we? And it was like, hang on a minute. So we had to stop, order everything in, but it all came, didn't it? It all came within a matter of 24 hours. So again, we can probably finish that off tomorrow for the next episode. Yay. Well, we've got to do the tank thing, haven't we? But we won't bore them with that. We'll just show them the conclusion rather than that, going through all that again. Everybody, everybody's seen that. I, I, I do get very conscious about being repetitive. I mention it in this episode. It's, it's repetitive for, for us. Maybe not so much for the viewers. No, because you've just told me that people don't watch it. Yeah. What do you mean people don't watch it? Right. We're going to end up like the Vicar of Dibley. Why? Doing oh. a joke at the end. Okay then. You don't tell. No. Uh, Your I've jokes got... are really rubbish. Mine are, are hilarious, as we found out. Nobody got your joke. That makes it even funnier. Yes. <laughs> it's I just, don't get it. It's the sense of. It's the absurdity of it that makes. No, it funny. don't explain it. Right. Imagine the thickest deepest, darkest jungle that you possibly can. I can only just hear you, but yeah, go on. And this, this jungle, the, the tree, the canopy, is so thick with vegetation and overgrown stuff yeah. that the sunlight just doesn't penetrate to the bottom, yeah. to, the, to the floor. Is this a joke or is it like a, a Ima You just imagine it, you're to put yourself oh, there. OK, come on, can we get to the punchline? <laughs> the floor of this this forest. Oh, I'm not listening to this, this is boring me already. Is putrid. Yeah, and? What's putrid, funny about that? A putrid bog. Come on! And in, this, in the middle of this stinking, putrid... There's you, God telling, forsaken. you telling this joke <laughs> to a load of monkeys. Ah. Godforsaken place. 
in the middle of this swamp sit two withered, gnarly creatures. And the one on the left says to the one on the right, do you know what I keep thinking? It's shoes, I say. Yeah. Is that supposed to be a joke? I mean, really? It's funny. In what way is that funny? <laughs> 